Hi, Paul here from Royal Oak Farm, and uh, we've had a lot of requests recently for information on how to take a John Deere 7000 planter and modify it to use in pumpkins. So I wanted to do a quick video to show you some of the things that we did to change and modify the planter. As you can see here, this is a four-row uh, conservation unit, so it's actually designed for no-till uh, planting. Although most of our planting is more standard, um, we could utilize it as a no-till planter as well. But what we've done is uh, taken apart the seat box here. These come with the uh, finger pickup units in them. And this particular one was set up for corn, so it's got all 12 fingers on it. Uh, but what we do is we take out the finger pickup unit and modify it and cut it down to a six-fingered unit. So we go every other finger, we'll cut out the fingers, just snip them off with a pair of pliers, a pair of cutters and uh, run the unit just as a standard corn unit but without uh, every other finger. We found that that works pretty well. I've seen guys that have actually cut every uh, two fingers out and left every third finger but I found that the every other finger unit seems to work the best for a variance of sizes and shapes. And uh, what you also will have to do is modify your seed rate um, on your chain drive so that you can get the right seeding rate. I try to shoot for between 38 40 inches and with this unit on a variance of seed sizes, usually you'll get um, fairly good seeding rate. Sometimes it'll drop uh, two, but pretty consistently you'll get a one seed singulation drop rate. And it works pretty well, but um, it does. you do need to modify the seeding rate based on what works best for you. Um, and there's a lot of different uh, gears and chain drives, and you can actually add on other chain and gear drives so you can get different seating rates so that's something you have to kind of experiment on your own but as far as modifying the unit quickly so you can use it with pumpkins cutting out the seed finger pickups uh, seems to work the best and is the easiest solution and we'll fit that right inside the standard pickup unit and uh, just take out the nut slide the corn one out slide your pumpkin one in fit it back on put it back together and put it back in your seating box and you're ready to go uh, so if you have any other questions, you can contact us on www.royaloakfarmorchard.com. But um, this is a real quick modification, and uh, we're actually doing a little bit of experimentation on seed metering, too, for pumpkins to try to pick up uh, uh, the seed uh, count as the pumpkins. So that's one thing that with uh, most monitors and seed sensors, you're not going to notice the pumpkin seeds dropping through. It'll pick up corn and beans pretty well. But pumpkins not always so you do need to make some modifications uh, if you're really concerned about trying to get your seat sensor working well for pumpkins so we're experimenting with some newer uh, infrared units and a few other units to see if we can get that to work well but if you're doing small acreage planting most of the time it's not a huge uh, issue but for larger acreage planting if you want to use it like a four or six row unit like this you may want to try to work a little bit with your seed sensor to see if you can pick up those pumpkin seeds because it's kind of difficult. Uh, corn is never a problem, but uh, pumpkins, it's not really designed to pick up the seed uh, as it's dropping through. So we're going to try to do a little experiment on and we may have some updates on that as we go through. But uh, this is Paul from Royal Oak Farm, and uh, if you have any other comments or questions, you can contact us on our website. Thanks.